In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on April 12, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Toronto Blue Jays vs. New York Yankees Two teams that have playoff aspirations square off in Game 2 of their three-game series as the visiting Toronto Blue Jays take on the New York Yankees. Toronto has started the season 3-1 as they look to claim their first American League East title since 2015. The Yankees took two of three from arch-rival Boston to start the season before dropping the opener of this series. 3-0. Toronto will send left-hander Yusei Kikuchi to make his first start this season while the Yankees will counter with their own left-hander. Nestor courts JR. It is all well and good to beat up the Rangers at home, but Toronto hits the road for the first time this season in this series in the Bronx. This is still a young group, but they showed no fear against the Yankees last season, and now that the expectations are higher, I am expecting more of the same. Toronto is one of the few teams with a lineup that can match the power of New York's. New York is certainly not easing into the season by hosting Boston and Toronto to start the year. They handled the Red Sox, taking that series as Giancarlo Stanton and Anthony Rizzo made history as the first first Yankees to homer in each of the first two games of the season. Aaron Judge had yet to go yard heading into Monday action and you have to wonder if the contract thing might at some point influence his play. Toronto had good pitching depth already and then they picked up Yusei Kikuchi as a free agent. He never quite lived up to the hype with Seattle but as a fifth starter, it is hard to find much better. For New York, they are looking for Nestor Quartz to hold down a spot in the rotation all season this year. How he does against a rival like the Blue Jays is going to go a long way towards his doing so. With a couple of lefties on the mound, it is going to be a little easier for all of the big hitters in both lineups. Kikuchi made one start at Yankee Stadium and he pitched five shutout innings so I like the Jays' chances. Another shutout performance is unlikely but I like the lefty to fare a little better than Quartz. A less experienced hurler, the Blue Jays' offense has been on fire to start the season and I like their matchup in this game. Toronto has a very good lineup and should be able to get to the starter early. So the Toronto Blue Jays' money line is our full game side pick. Matt Chapman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Bo Bichet, DJ LeMahieu, Joey Votto, Josh Donaldson, Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton. Those are just some of the hitters that are capable of dominating this game. Toronto's bullpen has struggled to begin the season as they have the seventh worst ER at 4.91 through the first three games after a huge offensive series to begin the year. Both offenses have hit the long ball well as they have combined for 12 homers combined through their first three games. Both of these teams are loaded with right-handed sluggers. Guerrero, Springer, Judge and Stanton, just to name a few. We are getting a double-digit total but I still still like the over. Both of these teams are never out of a ball game and there will be lots of favorable matchups. I can maybe see one of those lefties having a strong game but not both. We discussed this earlier but neither pitcher has great numbers against these lineups. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Milwaukee Brewers vs. Baltimore Orioles The Baltimore Orioles will hope to build on their first win of the season when they continue a three-game home series against the Milwaukee Brewers on Tuesday night at Camden Yards. These teams opened the set on Monday afternoon, with the Orioles winning 2-0 to to cash as a plus-137 underdog. Milwaukee is slow out of the game at 1-3, while the Orioles match their overall record at 1-3 as well. This is the first series between these two since 2017, when Milwaukee swept a three-game set at home. Home. A bullpen game from one of the worst teams in baseball is just what the Milwaukee offense needs to get back on track. They feature a number of quality bats in their lineup, and new acquisition Hunter Renfro is due to start showing off the skills that propelled him to a .813 OPS and .242 ISO in 2021. StatCast loves Willie Adding's 88th percentile average exit velocity and he might find a little comfort going in American League East Park he is very familiar with to help him break out. Milwaukee and Baltimore are both off to slow starts, but the Brewers have played well head-to-head -head against Baltimore. 
Winning each of the last five, the Brewers have won seven of the last nine when playing against an opponent from the American League East. Baltimore has scored just four runs through its first three games and the Orioles have a team ER of 5.63 and opposing hitters are averaging .297 at the plate against Baltimore pitching. Milwaukee got off to a spotty start in their first series of the year but should be able to nurse their early record back to health with this series. Lauer showed some promise last season in a bounce back year posting a career-low ERA. I think he'll be fine this season and here in his 2022 debut. With Eric Lauer on the mound and in position to keep a Baltimore offense that has also struggled to score thus far in 2022 under wraps. Monday's game was a nice all-around effort for Baltimore, but I don't believe that they'll stifle Milwaukee twice in a row. So the Milwaukee Brewers' money line is our full game side pick. Baltimore's offense, while certainly well below average, is the strength of the team compared to the pitching staff with Mullins. Mountcastle and Austin Hayes at least providing some pop near the top of the order. One problem for Lauer here is he's an extreme flyball pitcher going into hitter-friendly Camden Yards, and some of the bullpen depth for Milwaukee did not look good on opening weekend. Yellick's hot start is at least promising for a Milwaukee offense that needs him badly and the Brewers made some off-season additions like Hunter Renfro and Andrew McCutcheon at least raises the floor. Baltimore's bullpen is also likely to be one of the worst in baseball, and Milwaukee will use this opportunity to break out and put up a crooked number. These are the kind of games that can get out of hand in a hurry. It's not too much of a stretch to think a team that allowed a 5.84 ER as a staff in 2021 might allow nine runs all by themselves. With Milwaukee's offense due to do some damage and live up to their stats, this is a prime opportunity for positive regression. Baltimore is better on offense than they are on the mound, and while Eric Lauer will certainly keep them under control, they will score enough to cover whatever portion of the total number of runs Milwaukee doesn't. This total is just too low without Baltimore having any sort of pitching plan. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Miami Marlins vs. Los Angeles Angels The Miami Marlins will finish up a quick two-game interleague set against the Los Angeles Angels on Tuesday evening in Anaheim. These teams are scheduled to open the series late on Monday night after the time of publishing. Miami dropped two of three to the San Francisco Giants to begin the 2022 season, while Los Angeles had a rough set against the Houston Astros losing three of four. These teams haven't met since May of 2017, when the Marlins took two of three in Miami. These teams are not producing offensively, but the Los Angeles Angels have the players that should begin hitting as Mike Trout and Shohei Otani should be able to dominate this game as Otani is one for two with a home run against Jesus Luzardo. The Marlins do not have many hitters. Miami's offense is not hitting for many extra bases as they have 34 total bases as a team which is the fifth worst in MLB currently. Miami and Los Angeles are off to a slow start, but the advantage here goes to the Angels playing at home as the Marlins will be playing their fifth straight game on the West Coast to open the season. Los Angeles has won 35 of its last 52 when playing against an opponent from the National League East, while in contrast Miami has lost 11 of its last 15 overall and 43 of the last 57 when playing on the road. All in all, go with the Los Angeles Angels to take advantage of a getaway day for the Miami Marlins. So the Los Angeles Angels money line is our full game side pick. Miami did a lot of work to improve proven offense that had a miserable 84 WRC plus last season, but this is still very likely to be a below average unit, and the Marlins didn't get off to a good start at the plate last weekend. Los Angeles' whole pitching staff should be much better, as the Angels also added some solid veteran bullpen arms like Ryan Tepera. Aaron Loop and Archie Bradley over the offseason. There's a reason that Luzardo was once considered such a good prospect with electric stuff and many still believe in a breakout, while the bottom half of the Angels' order doesn't provide much of a threat. Looking at the pitching staffs overall, the Marlins are currently tied for third in baseball with a 2.7 ERA while the Angels are 24th in the sport with a 5 ERA. The offenses are not really producing too many runs so far as Miami is scoring three runs per game while Los Angeles is averaging 2.5 runs per game. I believe that Pablo Sandoval and Jesus Luzardo should be able to put up a few zeros and that means the over is going to be a difficult thing to bet on. The under has hit in five of the last six interleague games for the Marlins while it also is 6-0-2 to zero to two in the Angeles' last eight games against National League East opponents. Los Angeles will do some damage here, but not quite enough to make up for the Marlins' lack of offense on the other side. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, 
whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.